Coming up on Mountain News this morning, two organizations partnered to help bring toys to children suffering from Hurricane Helene. And an annual run took place during the weekend for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, I'm Madison Carmouche. We're at that 530 mark this Monday morning and today is October 21st. Let's check in with meteorologist Megan Desmall for a look at your forecast this morning. Megan, I am so excited. I mean, you've already kind of mentioned we're going to keep up those warmer temperatures. We sure are and it's going to be another great day today. We're seeing those temperatures in the 70s yet again with some places even having that chance at the upper 70s. Right now though, looking at that satellite and radar, it's nice and clear. We do have some areas with some fog mostly though. Those are the more southern Kentucky counties, but those temperatures right now are a little bit cooler. We're in the 40s for the most part with some cities hitting that 30 degree mark. 37 for Manchester, 36 for Clintwood, and here in Hazard, 39 degrees. But we will be warming up to those highs I just mentioned, mostly the mid 70s, but we do see areas that have that potential for the upper 70s as we're going into your Monday. But the next couple of hours, we will be warming up to that high temperature, nice and beautiful sunny skies. For today, sunrise will be at 748 AM and we'll have that ARH seven day forecast in just a couple of minutes. Madison. All right, Megan, thank you. Governor Andy Bashir has ordered flags at all state buildings to be lowered to half staff from sunrise to sunset today. The occasion is for a Whitley County soldier who served in the Korean War. Raymond Hall of Mountain Ash was killed in a battle with North Korean People's Army Forces in July 1950. A graveside service and interment will take place today at the Calverton National Cemetery in Calverton, New York. A Laurel County paramedic is back home after a crash put him in the hospital. The president of Ambulance Incorporated of Laurel County says Lieutenant Will Bishop was returning from a call Saturday night on East Highway 80 when he drove off the road. It is unclear what led to the crash. No other vehicles were involved. Bishop was airlifted to UK Hospital for treatment. Ambulance Incorporated says Bishop is back home and was, quote, just bruised and banged up. In the wake of Hurricane Helene, communities are still picking up the pieces and two Breathitt County organizations are doing their part to help. Panbull Church and Russo Fire Department are partnering to collect toys for children in the impacted areas. For children who have faced adversity, co-pastor of the church Lee Johnson says any gift, no matter how small, will make a big impact. Resting for gifts for these children, you know, a, a, a $20 gift, a $10 gift might not seem much to you, but to these children it's, it's everything. And we're making a plea to the public, you know. North Carolina come to us when we were in need. It's time that we return the favor. You can drop off any toy at Panbull Church or the Russo Fire Department. Both locations are still accepting supplies for flood relief. The London Police Department reported Saturday that it sees the largest amount of fentanyl ever recorded within London city limits. Officers along with the department's special investigation unit found more than one kilogram of fentanyl and more than 1,000 fentanyl pills. Officials with the department say the street value is estimated more than $50,000. This is an ongoing investigation. A Corbin man is facing charges after he was reportedly found trafficking drugs. Officers with the London Police Department pulled over 57 year old Stacy Farley after he violated several traffic violations. When they pulled Farley over, police found a large quantity of suspected meth in his possession. He was charged with trafficking in a controlled substance and was taken to the Laurel County Correctional Center. A Wayne County man is in jail following a narcotics investigation. The investigation originally began in August when police stopped Randall Hall the second. They told him the reasoning for doing so. They later reportedly found a crystal substance believed to be meth in his pants pocket during the traffic stop. A warrant was later obtained for him leading to his arrest. He was taken to the Wayne County Detention Center.
Kinetic is reporting another copper theft, this time in Perry County. Officials say a person of interest was seen on security cameras last Thursday night in the Upper River Road area near the train tracks in Viper. The copper cable was removed from a utility pole, creating an outage. Crews have since repaired the line. Last week, we also reported another incident in the Cumberland community of Harlan County. A reward of up to $10,000 is being offered for information leading to an arrest and conviction. The Whitley, the Whitley County Detention Center is facing a lawsuit after claims that an inmate died from inadequate care. The lawsuit claims 40 year old Kyle Barton was held at the detention center last month when he became severely ill but was not given treatment, even with a documented request. Barton reportedly suffered a serious fall from his weakness that resulted in a fatal brain injury. His parents filed the suit against the detention center, listing the Kentucky Department of Corrections and several high ranking officials as defendants. The family is seeking punitive damages and reimbursement for medical and funeral expenses. The deadline to request a mail in ballot, a mail in absentee ballot is only one day away. Tomorrow on October 22nd, it will be the last chance to submit your request. All mail-in absentee ballots must be received by 6 p.m. on Election Day, which is November 5th, to be counted. County clerks are encouraging folks to cast their ballot early and avoid waiting until the last minute. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and folks in London gather to raise awareness and support those currently battling while honoring those lost. Dressing in pink and racing for a cure, hundreds of people participated in the second annual Dash for a Cure race on Sunday. Organizer Don Taylor says simply being there for those battling cancer can make a big impact. Uh, whether it be um, a, a mastectomy or chemo or radiation and, and prayer. Prayer is an important thing. I've heard so many people say how much they really appreciated people praying for them and helping them through uh, their ordeal that they were facing. Taylor says proceeds from the event went to the Baptist Health Carl Carly Keith Young Cancer Fund, furthering their support for those battling cancer by paying for transportation, forms of therapy, and more. Mammograms are crucial to detecting breast cancer. Doctors say the more dense your breast tissue is, the harder it is to see breast cancer. Dr. Laura, Laura Shepardson, who is the head of breast imaging for Cleveland Clinic, says dense breast tissue can also increase a woman's risk for developing breast cancer. Reports show nearly half of women who are 40 and older have it, and, FDA is, and the FDA is now requiring doctors to tell a woman if she falls into this category. Additional screening methods like using an ultrasound or MRI are recommended. This is all about education and really making sure patients understand why early detection is so important. It gives you much more, many more options in terms of treatment, less invasive treatments. So the key is to find it early. Doctors say women should get annual screening mammograms when they turn 40. However, those screenings may need to start sooner depending on personal risk factors and family history. Construction in Laurel County is impacting several businesses. For several months now, crews have been working on Highway 192 between I-75 and US-25. The construction has caused a decline in sales for Cornet Farm Fresh. Owner Rhonda Cornet says with an increase in traffic and since folks can no longer turn left into and out of their parking lot, Several of her customers try to avoid the area altogether. Um, but the customers are frustrated. Um, you know, they like coming here to our farm to table cafe. Um, they like to have lunch here. A lot of them have a 30 minute to 45 minute lunch break and usually we can get them in and out. But with traffic, some of them can't even make it here during their 30 minutes because it takes so long to get here. Cornet says they are not against the project as it should help traffic in the long run. 
Southeast Community and Technical College has been awarded grant money from the Appalachian Regional Commission. The funding, worth more than $1.6 million, will be to establish two training programs to help students develop work skills and earn certifications. Administrators with SKCTC say they will establish commercial driver's license and lineman training programs. Kentuckians can now get a license plate that celebrates Red River Gorge. Created by Wolf County Search and Rescue team member Kevin Osborne, the plate shows off his painting called Red River Gorge Archway to Heaven. $10 of the $44 it costs to purchase the license plate will go back to the rescue team. Chief John May says as a team of nearly 50 volunteers, it will help alleviate several costs they face. Outfitting those people, buying equipment, you know, stuff's expendable, ropes wear out, you know, clothing wears out, so you have to replace all that constantly. And this is, we hope, would be a way that uh, people can have, you know, a little slice of Kentucky, a very popular location on the back of their vehicle that, you know, supports tourism within the state and then also supports the rescue efforts of the Wolf County Search and Rescue Team. The plate is available in county clerk's offices throughout the state. Another new license plate will soon be available in Kentucky. The plates support the Commonwealth's emergency medical responders. $10 from each plate will benefit the Kentucky EMS Memorial Foundation. The foundation says they should be arriving to local county clerk's offices soon. When we return, one of the United Kingdom's biggest stars is going global with plans to build movie studios across Africa. And a meteor shower could be visible in eastern Kentucky. I'll tell you when in just a couple of minutes.